Welcome design students. In this video we're going to set up our scene for lighting and we're going to render an image of our chair. And rendering is the process of generating an image or a video, which is actually a series of images, from uh, the scene that you've created in the 3D program or a program like Photoshop or Illustrator. The renderer in a 3D program is an algorithm that takes into account the angle of view the angle of the geometry and each polygon that makes up the geometry in relation to the view and the lights in the scene and the materials that are applied to the geometry to shade the object so that it looks 3D. When you're moving your view around like this and you're working in a 3D modeling program, your computer is rendering your viewport live just like when you play a video game. Now in your viewport settings here, or in your panel settings in Maya, you can see that we have a choice called Renderer. And when we click it, we have two choices here. One is Viewport 2.0, and that is a render algorithm. That's the default one that's used by the viewport in Maya. And the second one is Arnold. So let's turn on Arnold for a second, and then click this little play button. And you'll see that the scene goes black. The reason it goes black is because there are no lights in the scene that are compatible with the Arnold renderer. Each different renderer works with certain lights and certain materials that are created to be compatible with it, and Arnold is no exception. So to find an Arnold compatible light, let's go up to the Arnold menu in your main menu here, open it up, and you will find lights. And let's start with a sky dome light, and you will immediately see that we now get a very different looking image from the Viewport 2.0 renderer. The skylight is meant to sort of simulate light coming from all directions, kind of like you would see on an overcast day. And as we move our scene around, you can see that it gets pixelated, and that's because Arnold has to re-render the viewport every time you move it or change it. And Arnold generates a very high quality image, that's why it has to take a little time to catch up with your movement. Now this looks nice, but we can make it look even better. Let's give our chair a surface on which to cast shadows. So let's create a plane right here, and then let's get our scale tool and scale this plane up. And you can see Arnold has to render now because it has to take into account that there's a new surface. And now you can see we have the shadows underneath the chair on the plane. Now that we've created the plane, we don't need all these extra segments here. So let's come over either in the channel box and click the polyplane node and we can change the segments, the subdivisions width and the subdivisions height to 1. And you can also do that in the attributes editor here on the polyplane node. It's the same thing. Now we have these nice soft shadows around our chair. Again, as if it was an overcast day because we have the skylight. But it would be nice if we had some harder shadows to simulate the sun maybe shining down or a light coming from a certain direction. So we can apply another light in the scene to give us that. So let's come up to our shelves here and find the rendering shelf. Open it up and you will see a selection of lights here. Now these are not Arnold lights, but they work with Arnold. So let's click direct light. And when you do, you will see some arrows appear. Let's move them up so you can see them a little better. And it doesn't really matter where these are in the scene. What matters is the rotation of them. So get your rotation tool and rotate that and you will see the shadow changing. And I think that's kind of cool. So play around with the rotation of this direct light. That's what this is called. It's called a directional light. So play around with the uh, rotation of this to get the shadow like you want. And then I want to show you how to preview your rendered image. So let's go up to the Arnold menu here in the main menu and open the Arnold render view and you will see something that pops up that looks like this. You probably won't see an image but when you click the play button you will. Now you can move this image around by pushing down on your middle mouse wheel and moving it around and you can zoom in and out by rolling your mouse wheel. Now, if you move your viewport, you will see that this updates live, and you can also see the render progress down here. 
Now this is a very useful uh, tool here and we'll talk more about this later. But I want to call your attention to the uh, the ground plane that we have here, the plane. You can see that it's gray and it's kind of the same color as the chair. Uh, let's select it and then right click in the viewport and assign a new material to it. And let's assign an Arnold material. Click Arnold and find the AI standard surface material and assign that. And you can see that we get a nice sort of reflective surface here that is the same color actually as the skylight so that um, it sort of blends in. So um, that looks really good and I like that a lot. So in the viewport, work to sort of frame your shot like you want. Give it a nice interesting angle so we can see the details on the chair. And now the next thing we need to do here is save our image. Now we could just go right here and click save image but Let's not do that yet. Let's make sure we're saving our image at the proper resolution. To do that, we need to go to the render settings, and the render settings can be found right here. Click this little um, film slate icon with the little gear on it, and that brings up your render settings. And notice here that we can change the render type. There are three renderers in Maya, Maya Software, Maya Hardware 2.0, which is the same one that we use in the viewport, and the Arnold renderer. So it should say Arnold, and then we have a lot of settings in here. Now, under File Output, you need to change the image format to JPEG and make sure it's 100 in, on the quality. And then we're going to need to scroll down and find Image Size and change that from HD 540 to HD 720. And that is the standard resolution that I want you to render always for anything you turn in for this class. Now, if you want to increase the quality of your Arnold render, you can see here we have a little noise in the shadow. Then what we can do is we can come under the Arnold Renderer tab and we can increase this number here. Don't want to go crazy with it. You can also increase this number. Again, don't want to go crazy with these because that will take longer to render, but you will get a higher quality image. And you can see clearly that it's taking longer, longer to render. But now that it's done, if I zoom in, you can see that a lot of that noise is gone. So once you've done that, you can save your image. Just go to File, Save Image, name it, make sure you see where it's going it will go in the in the images folder inside your project folder and click Save and now you can close this and then you can turn in this assignment and then we can close this window and we've now saved an image and generated a really nice high quality image of our chair don't forget to save your work command s is the shortcut or control S on a PC and in the next video we're going to add textures so that we can make it look even more realistic we're gonna make the cushions look like fabric and the frame look like wood and I'll see you in the next video